Hi guys, welcome back to Lifestyle Love. This video is all about makeup and minimalism. I've been wanting to make this for a really long time, but before I launch into it, you can see that I do not really apply that much of a minimalistic philosophy in my life. I love makeup and it's funny since becoming a YouTuber, I now consume um, a lot more makeup. But one thing I can say is I use every single piece of makeup in my cupboard and I absolutely love, value and appreciate every single piece. However, because I love makeup so much and I love buying makeup, I know that I need some sort of boundaries in place, otherwise I could, could go completely nuts. And makeup is pretty expensive and when you add it all up, it ends up to be in the thousands of dollars. So. I need some sort of self-discipline or guidelines or rules to follow just to keep me in check and make sure that I am to the best of my ability living a life that's aligned to my value system. So for this video I'm sharing with you I guess my boundaries and rules that I have enforced for myself to keep my makeup as minimalistic as I can possibly be for myself and for my lifestyle. So the first thing I do is I remember makeup is just simply colors, shades, and pigments. Just because you buy a particular type of makeup doesn't mean you can only use it for that area. So for example, take a bronzer. Yes, the bronzer will add a lot of color to your face, but you can also use it as a blush. You can also use it as an eyeshadow. You can also use it as an eyeliner with the right tools. And if you mix it in with a little bit of hair gel, you can also use it to shade in your eyebrows. So think about using makeup on a multifunctional level. And of course, don't be afraid to experiment. The second thing that I do, which probably reduces bad purchases and wastage is whenever I go and buy some makeup, I always test it in the store, but then I'll also go outside into the natural sunlight and see how it looks. Now, this has stopped me from buying the wrong shades of foundation, um, horrendous eyeshadow colors, and has made me go back into the store and research my products a little bit more before I go ahead and buy it. I don't impulse buy makeup because often it ends up being a really regretful purchase, a waste of money, and also a waste of space in my cupboard. The third thing that I do that tries to keep my makeup within a minimalistic boundary is I remember that makeup is 50% skincare. If you have healthy skin, a really good base, you don't actually need that much makeup. And remember, makeup is not about masking ourselves, but it's about using the right tools and shades and colors to enhance our features and bring out our beauty. So when buying makeup, make sure you have a right balance between makeup and skincare products. The fourth thing I do is I try and stick to a signature look. It's my quick, easy, go-to look, which I know works best for my features, my bone structure, and my skin coloring. So for me, that's typically you know, a brown eyeshadow, which brings out the greenness in my eyes, a very natural pink lip, and probably a little bit of peach or pink on my cheeks. Very simple, quick and easy to apply. But I absolutely love that defined signature look. Caroline Kennedy with her pullback platinum blonde hair and strong red lip, I think is so glamorous and chic. Audrey Hepburn with her cat eye, you know, eyeliner is so elegant and glamorous. Try and create your own signature look. When you do this, you will find that you don't really need all those gadgets and gizmos and, you know, fancy different kinds of products and colors. You'll really streamline your makeup collection. The fifth idea for trying to apply a minimalistic philosophy is to have one focal point. Now typically that is either your eyes, your cheeks, or your lips. Have one really prominent defined feature on your face and stick to that. Again, you will find that you, once you've worked out what feature you like to enhance on your face that works for you, you won't need as much makeup. The fifth rule, which is probably my biggest and best rule that I'm really strict to adhering, otherwise I can very easily go nuts, is I do not replace any product until it's almost used up or it is completely used up. When I don't follow this rule, I end up buying multiple products or so have like three or four different foundations going at the same time, which over time end up going off because I can't use them all at the same time. So I'm really strict about this. And you can see here, I hate wastage as well. So this is my like go-to foundation, which I absolutely love. It's the least fuss. And um, this has been looking like it's been running out for months, but in fact, there's still so much product left in here. 
admittedly I'm probably towards the end of it now but I actually will make sure I cut open a product or open up the bottle use a cotton tip and actually can get so much more product out of this now this will probably look at me, keep me going for probably another week or two but this has been looking like it's empty for at least a month and if I hadn't actually done this and opened it up and had a look I would have just had replaced it quite quickly and wasted money I hate wasting money also, I find that when I follow this principle, I have a delayed sense of gratification. So when I do go to replace this product, I'm actually really excited about popping into my favorite makeup store and buying this and seeing what other things they've got in the shop. But I know that I deserve this and it's ready to be replaced and I don't have to feel guilty because I haven't wasted it at all. The sixth and an equally as important rule or boundary that I follow is I must be able to see all of my makeup. If I don't see my makeup, I won't use it and it will end up being wasted and not used and then I'll potentially go and buy another product because I forget that I own it. It's the out of sight, out of mind. So I don't have a huge amount of space in my house in, or in my bathroom. So once I've used up a certain amount of um, surface space, I will not let myself buy any more makeup because it's starting to look too cluttered and it makes me feel sort of overwhelmed and confused and I lose focus when I'm doing my makeup. For me, doing my makeup is a creative process. I really enjoy putting on makeup. I want to be able to do it in a calm and peaceful manner so that I can concentrate and then I guess enhance my features. So I have this particular area that's dedicated to makeup and once that space is used up, I will not let myself buy any more. Another tip that I do with the, this physical boundary space is I make sure that my makeup is beautifully presented. I like to kind of create my own makeup store within my bathroom. I want to be able to open up the, the doors and see everything and actually feel excited. So that means making sure everything is neat and tidy. It also makes, means making sure that the makeup is actually clean. So every now and again, I will grab a baby wipe and wipe down my makeup so that it looks brand new so I can reinvigorate or resuscitate or reignite that excitement in using a new product and for people who like the idea of this but don't actually have that much space in their bathroom a really great way of incorporating this rule is to get some clear makeup boxes or bags now these are just from Mac and I'll put the link in the description box below but this means you can say, for example, put all your blushes together in one container or all your eyeshadow palettes together in this one container. But being clear, you can see exactly what you've got. So you don't have to run the risk of forgetting what you own and wasting money and wasting products. Another great tip, which I do on a regular basis to try and minimize my makeup collection and stop excessive purchasing is I get a makeup lesson every now and again. Now my local makeup store, um, I think it costs about a hundred dollars and they, it is so good because they teach you so many different looks. But what I actually do is I turn up there with all of my own makeup and I ask them to show me how to create looks with makeup that I already own. And it's always amazing what I walk away, the knowledge that I have from them and they make notes for me so I don't forget. And they really inspire me to experiment and you know try different shades and different areas of highlighting and they'll also let me know if I am missing something from my collection or if I've already got enough products so the other day when I had a makeup lesson I took all my blushes and they said you know what you've got a great collection here you do not need any more blushes you've colored all the, the, the shades and colors for your for your complexion you're fine and it was so helpful because it made me realize it gave me a sense of I guess um, contentment and um, adequate sufficiency in my makeup collection I don't feel like I need anything I don't feel like I'm trying you know I'm in a bottomless pit that's constantly trying to feed and create the ultimate makeup collection I feel content with what I own which is a very strong feeling that comes from following a minimalistic philosophy second last rule that I apply to myself in following a minimalistic philosophy as best I can in my in my cupboard is I focus on quality rather than quantity I would much rather have a handful of lip glosses or lipsticks that I absolutely love and enjoy wearing and carrying around in my handbag than 30 or 40 crappy like colors that I'm not really into or don't really like or aren't quite right I will simply let those lipsticks lip glosses go if they don't suit me I would much rather spend a little bit more money or even a lot more money and really love and appreciate what I'm actually buying plus I find that when I do buy quality products the makeup tends to last a lot longer and my skin seems to appreciate the high quality ingredients and then the final tip that I apply is you will never find a doubling up of products in my wardrobe you will not find 
three different body lotions you will not find five or six different black mascaras I have one black mascara and one brown mascara because that is all I really need I have similar but not identical different shades of blush some of which are shimmers some of which are a matte but there is definitely no doubling up in this cupboard now if you have any other ideas that will help streamline and minimize my makeup collection please let me know but this is pretty much all of my makeup with the exception of a mini capsule makeup collection that I carry in my handbag every day but I would love to hear any additional tips or tricks that you apply in following a minimalistic philosophy in your makeup cupboard now I have a lot more videos coming up around minimalism but if you have any particular video requests around minimalism please let me know because I really enjoy making these videos for you and you guys always give me great feedback and great suggestions so thank you so much keep them coming and if you haven't already obviously please make sure you subscribe because I'm really passionate about sharing this philosophy and this way of life because it has added so much value into my life so anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Again, let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe and please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next week for Money Monday. Ciao for now.